Hey everyone, this is Indy, and I'm just making this quick UI video to answer some of the questions that were coming through via PM and comments. And um, first off, thank you guys so much. I do appreciate all the feedback. I read it all, and hopefully this video is going to answer those questions. Um, you're going to find two links in the video description. The first link will be to Aliena's YouTube UI video, and the second link will be to her wowinterface.com download page. That's essentially where I started with this UI. Um, everything is available, including the custom art for the KG panels, through her downloads. Um, so first off, on behalf of everyone that uses this, I will say thank you because the artwork is awesome. And um, secondly, we can just go through here and I'll show you the components that I am using from the download pack. Now answers to questions regarding individual UIs is usually best found at curse.com just by looking them up. Um, you will find the most up-to-date info that way so I won't go into them in too much detail. Uh, let's just start off here with uh, big wigs you'll find included in that UI pack. It's awesome boss mod. I used to use DBM. I'm actually enjoying big wigs now because it's very um, specific. You can get different modules according to what you're going to use rather than just download a whole slew of things that you may never use. Uh, that said, you may also want to download a mod called little wigs which is going to give you your boss mods for five man instances. The next thing you'll see included is called Button Facade, and what that will do is give your buttons a nice um, skin overlay. This one is called Vista, also included in the download pack, and it just gives it a really nice translucent overlay, but there's uh, obviously other options and other things you can download for it as well. Um, and that is Button Facade. The next thing that you won't see in this list, but is included is called clear font and clear font is going to change all the fonts in your game and give you like a new default font um, anywhere there's writing essentially so you know certainly you can override these with different mods um, as you can see in my stuff and my grid different fonts but the the default font that I chose is avant-garde because I just like it it's clean easy to read and um, so that would be for clear font. The next mod that I use is click and this is in conjunction with grid. Click is a very customizable heal mod and let me just start off by showing you here that when you open your spellbook you'll see click binding configurations. Really cool because you can go to a tab, you can open your click binding configurations, and it says that you are now in click binding mode. So anything you click to bind a certain spell, I won't do it and accidentally change something, but anything you do will automatically set that as a key bind. Very, very conveniently um, set up that way. So that's what I use for my click heels. Some people don't even use click heels and you know, that's complete preference but I enjoy this one. Um, the next thing that I will talk about is Domino's which is your bar mod. Really awesome bar mod because it completely breaks apart all your bars. You can hide things, you can um, shrink things down. If I go into configure here you'll see that you know just middle clicking will make them show up or completely hide them. You can change the scale on certain things. Um, you can move it around as you see fit. Um, can hide things like your bag bars, of course though, on my screen because I'm old school and I need to, I know how to open them without clicking on them, but because I've been playing for so long I just need to see them for some strange reason, but you can certainly hide all this as well. So that is your Domino's add-on. Very cool bar mod. And the next one that you will see, actually let me come back out here, is Forte Exorcist. I don't have this locked down right yet, but um, you can certainly lock this bar down. It is a cooldown timer. And the cool thing about this is that it gives you a visual um, for any spell that triggers a cooldown. So, as you can see here, Arcane Torrent, or I could you know, pain suppress, and you can see when that comes up, really handy in a raid, because when you're running around and healing and you've got a million and one things happening, you know, you have to dodge things, not stand in things, it's really nice to have this, because as it gets closer to the end, 
it'll flash and then you'll see it say above here that, you know, uh, pain suppression is ready, arcane torn is ready, prayer of mending is ready. So it makes it really efficient for all of your cooldowns. There's a million and one different options with Forte Exorcist as well, class-based. Um, you've got just so many options, I won't even start to, to get into detail. I use it for the cooldown timer. So that is Forte Exorcist. The next thing we'll talk about is Grid. Um, and actually that is over here. And um, yeah, I have my grid set up down here. Now you can customize your fonts, you can customize the heel bar. I mean, there's so many things you can do within grid. But I believe that grid is also going to be included in your UI download, should you go with Alienus Pack. Um, the next thing we'll talk about here, uh, mix scrolling battle text. This one is really cool because it gives you a visual uh, scrolling battle text above and to either side of your character. Now this one is fully customizable. You can even make it show skill ups, um, you know, honor gained, anything you can imagine. You can make it show. Now, configure scroll areas. This one's going to show you here where the, the scroll areas are set up on my screen. I'm not going to get into that too much, but just to let you know, you can hide certain things. You can hide a complete scroll area should you not want to see it. So I have it set up to just show me what I what I find most important when raid healing. I don't want to see the you know the trivial things, so I set all that up. Um, the next thing we're going to go into actually is our KG panels, and in KG panels, you're going to see the down here is where I have my panels but you're also going to see an art library with the download from Aliena and in the art library she includes a lot of options and we certainly thank her for that because there are so many different options you know if you're if you don't want something too girly then there's plenty to choose from I personally love this one um, but lots to choose from and that's your KG panels. Now, again, depending on your screen resolution, you're going to have to tweak this a little bit after you download it. The next thing we'll go through is, um, okay, let's try this again. Moving on to power auras, you're going to um, set this up according to you know your um, triggered abilities, things that you want to see. It's going to give you a visual around your character. Now, I have to apologize, I can't show you this on mine right now because the last patch messed this up a little bit for me. I ended up losing my settings, so I have to go through and do this all over again for myself. Just goes to show you, back everything up on a regular basis. Um, but that is going to be included in the UI pack. It's a, it's a great add-on to have. Now, the next one is Pratt, and as you can see here in my chat window, um, Pratt is just a completely customizable chat mod. You can customize your font, give it a little shadow underneath, make it pop, you can timestamp it, you can actually give it a scroll back feature, which you can see I logged on, and I can go back into last night and um, view my chat. So it's a very useful chat mod. The next thing we'll discuss here is Quartz, and Quartz is my casting bar mod. Now, you can move these around, make them bigger, make them smaller. I know a lot of people say that it doesn't show up that well when I post videos of my self-healing, but what I do is I have it overlay the, the main um, bar here in my stuff unit frames. It will not do anything here in target of target. It will show my targets, and as well, it will show the cast bar of my focus. So let's just test this out here and cast. And as you can see, you'll see it down here, down here, and then on my focus target, you'll see it above. The reason I have that showing above is because when it's a boss that I'm focusing, I certainly want to see his casting abilities. So that is quartz. 
Okay, the next one we'll talk about is our Rating Buster mod. And Rating Buster is a really cool mod where you can um, get a visual on your item stats. Now, this also, when you hold shift down and compare, you'll see that it will put them side by side. But because I'm not comparing, we'll just look at this one window. It gives you, at the bottom, a stat summary really awesome tool. If you're not mathematically minded, as I certainly am not, it will give you down to the percent, down to the 0, .0 percent, the difference between two items. So, going up to the top, looking just for instance, let's look at the 301 intellect. Well, that tells us that it's 5192.3 mana, 0.53 percent spell crit, 346.1 spell power, and 98.5 mana per five. So, an excellent mod to have when you're reforging, regemming, comparing, anything of that sort. And that is uh, included in that UI pack. The next thing we'll talk about is our Citrine above frames. And that shows up on the top left of my screen. I have them over here because I prefer to keep my buffs on this side and then my debuffs directly underneath. It's just easier for me when I'm raid healing. I prefer it that way. So um, let me just show you here. The This is the configuration. Um, you're going to have a million and one different options in here. Your layout, you can um, space them, size them. I mean, you name it. I won't go through the specifics, but I'll show you here. Let's just give me a debuff so you can see that my debuffs pop under here and they're a little bit smaller, but that's just how I like to keep things. Okay, so the next thing we will discuss here is Sexy Map, which it is. There are a bunch of presets here, as you can see, that will come with it. I choose to just keep the square. Um, the next mod that we'll discuss that comes with the UI pack is Scada. Now, I used to use Recount, and I used to have to download an additional um, Guest Absorbs add-on for that, because I'm a Disc Priest, and I certainly don't want to look just at straight-up healing. I need to look at my Absorbs, and so since I started using Scada, I've noticed that I get a lot more detail and a lot more accuracy in that. So. It's all preference. You can use Recount, you can use Scada. They'll both work the same. If you're looking at specifics like absorbs, effective healing, overhealing, I would recommend Scada. I just, I think it does a better job. But certainly you can try either. Um, the next thing we'll move on to is stuff. Now, in the UI pack that you download, you will have, you'll see stuff and you'll see Pitbull. I tried Pitbull first. I had major issues. I had to discontinue using it. I'm not sure if it's been updated to this point, but if it hasn't, definitely give stuff a try. It's been nothing but pleasant to work with, um, easily customizable, and these are, again, my unit frames. As you can see, it will, you know, pop up my self, my target, my target of target, my focus will come up here. So it's very clean and easily customizable, and that would be your stuff mod. The mod that I did have to download outside this pack, just because I like to have my own um, range mod where it'll change the colors of my buttons depending on if it's out of range, unavailable, or I don't have mana for it. You can customize colors for these options, and I just like the visual of that. If you want the same type of mod, then I would highly recommend downloading, in addition to the um, UI pack, Tula Range. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. You don't have many settings to go through with this, but it's um, easy to set up and I enjoy having that little bit extra customization. So I think that's about it for the mods that are included and the ones that I've added. I don't use much else that's pertaining to rating that I can go through for you. Hopefully this answered some of your questions, and again, be sure to check out Aliena's video and wowinterface.com for any other questions you might have, um, and I hope this has helped in some way answer all of your questions. Thanks for watching.